Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going over my top 12 skateboarding games for PC and consoles that I can highly recommend to play. Whether you're into realistic simulations, arcade action or more quirky indie games, I think this list got something for everyone. First up, there is Skatebird. Now, I'll be honest, this game isn't about realism, apparently, but it's still fun. You play as a tiny bird on an even smaller skateboard and pull off tricks in a world built out of everyday objects. The mechanics are pretty simple, but it's surprisingly satisfying once you got the hang of doing flips and grinds as a bird. The whole vibe of the game is super casual and the quirky upbeat soundtrack makes it even better. If you're looking for something laid back and with a cute aesthetic, Skatebird is definitely worth a shot. Hellskate, on the other hand, takes skateboarding to a whole new level. It's skateboarding meets roguelike and dark fantasy. You're skating through this gnarly world filled with creepy enemies and instead of just grinding and flipping, you actually power up attacks with every trick that you need to fight off monsters. The art style is gritty, the tricks are stylized and it's just a different kind of flow. Plus, the roguelike elements give it a lot of replayability and let you pick up the game over and and over and over again. If you're looking for a unique skateboarding experience, I would say Hellskate is the game for you. Another very special title is Driftwood, a game that is all about cruising along stunning coastal landscapes that has a dreamy vibe that's almost therapeutic. There is not much pressure to perform here, it's about flowing and exploring these gorgeous settings at your own pace. The controls are smooth and easy to pick up, so even if you're not experienced in skateboarding games, Driftwood is super enjoyable for a chill session. And you play as a sloth named Eddie. What's more to say about it. If you're looking for even more simplicity and pure skateboarding instead, the ramp might be where it's at. It's super minimalistic, it's super chill and it's just you, the ramp and a handful of tricks. There's no scoring, no career mode, no competition, no open world, nothing. It's just you and the board and a handful of achievements to unlock. But once you get into the flow, it's really addictive. It's great for quick sessions and to simply relax and perfect if you want to zen out and focus on nailing that perfect flow. Moving on, we have Skate Lab, the dark souls of skateboarding games. If you're looking for something really challenging with a great physics engine and very, very satisfying gameplay once you finally got the hang of it, this is your game. It's only in early access at the moment, so still an active development, but you can already skate through several maps and even create and customize your own ones. Skate Lab is a solid choice if you like sandbox experiences where you can just mess around and see what's possible. Skate City, on the other hand, is a smooth side-scroller that lets you explore the three iconic cities Los Angeles, Oslo and Miami. It's got a very laid-back vibe and the controls are super intuitive. It has a great mix of chill cruising and challenging missions, which keeps the game interesting throughout your playtime. Plus, the lo-fi soundtrack has a vibe of its own and once you picked it up, it's hard to put down and time flies by faster than expected. Next up, there is Oli Oli World, another side-scrolling skateboarding game that adds a surreal and colorful twist to this list. The levels are beautifully designed, filled with the challenges of increasing difficulty, there are secret paths to discover and a bunch of quirky characters that lead you through the game. It's fast-paced and all about chaining combos, so it's great for players who want something that's quick, fun and visually unique. And trust me, the level of detail in each world just makes it a joy to explore.
Now, of course, you can't talk skateboarding games without mentioning Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And for this video here, specifically the remake of Pro Skater 1 and 2. This game nails the feel of the originals, but with updated graphics and is pure nostalgia. The controls feel better in my opinion, and it's easy to pick up, but hard to master, especially if you're going for those high scoring combo lines. If you love arcade style skateboarding, I don't think there's any way around this game. Up next we have Riders Republic, a game that is a lot more than just skateboarding. It's a massive multiplayer outdoor sports experience where you can snowboard, bike, wingsuit and of course skate. The open world experience is just wild, you can hop from activity to activity, meet up with friends and take on huge stunts. The scale of this game is still mind blowing and if you love to try out multiple extreme sports it's a complete playground. The skate part is a lot more more fun than I had expected, so definitely a recommendation. Now to my all-time favorite and most played skateboarding game ever, Skate 3. Even 14 years after its initial release, this is still a masterpiece of a skateboarding game. It takes the flicked controls from the first two games and perfects them, making it feel so intuitive. The open world map is a blast to explore and the custom park editor is amazing. I've spent hours in this game discovering spots and trying to hit every line I can think of. Even after all this time, I still love to go back to the game frequently because it's a true classic for a reason. If you are more into realism, however, Skater XL might be right up your alley. The physics are so precise that each thumbstick controls a different foot, so you're really creating each trick yourself. It's a bit of a learning curve though, but once you get the hang of it, it's super rewarding. It has some nice base content that allows you to get started, but there's also a lot of mods and custom maps that the community made, which means there's basically endless content. If you're serious about skateboarding, Skater XL is a game you don't don't want to miss. And last but definitely not least is Session Skate Sim, a game that is like a love letter to true skateboarding. In my opinion, it's the best skateboarding game we have right now with its gritty, realistic feel that is all about patience and precision. Similar to Skater XL, each foot is controlled by one of your sticks, which gives you full control of your board, but also needs a lot of focus to do tricks. It also has a great replay editor that allows you to capture every angle of your best Lines. So if you're up for a really authentic skateboarding experience, Session is the best game you can play right now. And that was it for today, my top 12 skateboarding games for PC and consoles. Let me know in the comments below which of these is your favorite or if there's a hidden gem I might have missed. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye!